This is another deeply unnecessary deep sea fish, the tripod fish. And the most noticeable feature of the tripod fish is quite obviously these long fins. But that is part of the reason why they're so weird, but not the whole reason. The tripod fish likes to use these long ass fins to just stand there. I guess just stand in the mud and just hang out at the bottom of the ocean. They have a pretty wide range of levels that they prefer to just exist at, but the maximum recorded is just over 4,700 meters below the surface. And what they do, they get their name from doing this. They just sit there in balance on their three tripod fins and just wait for their food to swim by. And now they don't actually have eyeballs, so finding food is a little bit of an issue. However, they use their pectoral fins for that. These pectoral fins right up there are very touch sensitive, so whenever they sense a kind of shift in the movement of current that is indicative of a smaller fish or like shrimp or something swimming by, it then uses those sensory fins to then swoosh it into its mouth so it doesn't even need eyeballs. And those pectoral fins act as both antenna and hands in order to get food into its mouth. Now, scientists aren't for sure 100% the kind of how they use their fins. They used to think that they were just bony projections that just stick down into the ground like a stake. But since the fish can swim and move them pretty easily, a new hypothesis has suggested that they can intentionally pump fluid in and out of them to make them more or less stiff. Don't put that joke in the comments you're thinking of. Don't do it. I realized as soon as I said it, but you're better than that. But in a similar vein, let's talk about reproduction. So they are fully hermaphroditic, meaning they have both female and male sex organs. And they also produce both eggs and sperm. So when they come into contact with another tripod fish, they can fertilize that way, make babies, etc., etc. We know how that works. However, if they don't come into contact with another tripod fish in a very long time, they can self-fertilize. They will release both eggs and sperm, which will then mix together and produce essentially just little clone baby larvae. And these larvae actually look really, really cool. They look like this. This is a baby tripod fish larva, and it will eventually turn into that very, very interesting adult. 